forever breaking records. Welcome once again and Al Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa and Al Ahli Bi Salam Stadium to get you the top weekly news of the giant of Africa, Al Ahli. Let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli equal Bayern and Barcelona's record. Domestic double for 14th time. Media celebrates Al Ahli to rebel. Musimani, Al Ahli players are making history. FIFA congratulates Al Ahli on winning the Tribella. Ishinawi, we managed to achieve a historic Tribella. Benoun, I'm happy for my first trophy with Al Ahli. Malul, we aim to win all the season titles. Badji, Al Sheikh, and Salah are dropped off the squad list. Ishahad, to play in CAF Super Cup. Al Ahli's first team managed to equal Bayern Munich and Barcelona's record after winning the Tribel for the second time in the history of the club, following the team's victory against Salah Agish in the final of the Egypt Cup. Al Ahli was able to win the league title after achieving a total of 89 points. Then our players went on to defeat Zemalik 2-1 in the final of CAF Champions League competition. Lastly, the team completed the Tribel after winning the Egyptian Cup final by penalties against Salah Agish. The first time Al Ahli won the Tribel was in 2006, when we won the league title by a total of 72 points. Then we were able to win the CAF Champions League and Egyptian Cup titles after defeating Sfaxian and Zemalek respectively. Both Bayern Munich and Barcelona won the Tribel only two times in the history. Bayern Munich won it in 2013 and 2020, while Barcelona achieved the same record in 2009 and 2015. Our team succeeded in achieving the local double league and cup for the 14th time in its history after winning the cup title on Saturday. The first double came in 1948-1949 season and the last one was in 2016-2017 season. The former Mamelodi Sundowns mentor only joined the club at the end of September and has since guided them to CAF Champions League and now Domestic Cup glory, Soccer Ladome stated after the game. Also kick off celebrated our tribal after winning the Egypt Cup title after a thrilling game. Patsu Musimani has led Al Ahli to famous tribal after bagging the Egypt Cup with 3-1 penalty shootout victory over Talai Agesh on Saturday evening. Kick off added on their official website. Al Ahli head coach Patsu Musimani was very happy after defeating Talai Agesh. I would like to thank our president Mahmoud Al Khatib and our board of directors who gave me the chance to take the team's responsibility. Also, I would like to thank the players who did their best, my family and the coaching staff. When I was at Mamelodi Sundowns, we got knocked out of the CAF Champions League, but the fate decided to bring me back in to win it with Al Ahli. We still have two tournaments left to win, and we have to fight to clinch them. FIFA congratulated Al Ahli on winning the Egypt Cup title and praised the second true belt in history after winning it back in 2006 with a legendary generation. Al Ahli's first team, Captain Mohamed Shinawi, expressed his happiness following the team's victory of the Egyptian Cup for the 37th time in the history of the club. We managed to achieve a historic tribal in our career with Al Ahli after winning the Egyptian League, CAF Champions League, and the Egypt Cup. We will now start concentrating on the new season in order to make sure that we also maintain Egyptian League title in the next season. Al Ahli's defender Badr Benoun revealed his thoughts after arriving at Al Ahli and experiencing the team wins two trophies in a short period. I'm happy for my first trophy with Al Ahli. The players managed to put on great performances in the last period. Al Ahli managed to win two difficult matches against Zamalek and Agesh in a very tight period, which led the team to win the tribal. I would like to thank Al Ahli's president, Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib, coaching staff, players, and all our fans for the great support. We will now concentrate on winning the African Super Cup and compete in all the upcoming competitions in order to win more trophies for Al Ahli. Our Tunisian fullback Ali Maloul expressed his emotions after winning the Tribel and said, We succeeded to secure the Tribel after showing a great performance and it will give us a great push to start the new season. Our Tunisian fullback Ali Maloul expressed his emotion after winning the Tribel and said, 
We succeeded to secure the Tribel after showing a great performance and it will give us a great push to start the new season. We still have more titles to win as we seek to clinch the Egyptian Super Cup and the CAF Super Cup. Also, I would like to congratulate our fans and the club's board on this great achievement. Al Ahli sent the team's preliminary squad list for the 2020-21 season to the Egyptian Football Association. Our squad's list will not include Al Yubachi, Saleh Guma, and Ahmad Al Sheikh. Al Ahli received an official letter from the Confederation of African Football to inform us that our winger Hussein Shahad will be suspended for two games in the 2020-21 CAF Champions League as a result of receiving a red card following the dispute which happened post-CAF Champions League final against Zamalek. The CAF's letter confirmed that Shahat will be able to play the CAF Super Cup against RS Burkina, as his suspension will be applicable starting from 2020-21 CAF Champions League. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli US Stadium, I'm Yom Naatwa. See you next week.